cookie swirl? See? <laughs> Woo! Chocolatey chippy cookies! Oh! We've got a big jumbo giant Barbie box! Oh, what in the world is in here? Okay, these are exclusive Barbies that you can only get at barbiecollector.com. We are gonna check out which ones are inside of this Barbie box. Here we go. Let's just rip it open. Open, open. Okay, who is it? Get all the paper off. Cut it open. And it looks like, oh, we've got lots of Barbies in here. Oh, let's start with this one right here. Woo! Okay, which Barbie is it? I can barely tell which one it is. Okay, let's open, open. Oh, it's a Barbie from the Far Away Forest collection. It's the water sprite. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so we are totally jumping into fantasy land. All right, this Barbie is part of the gold label collection. Let's open her up. Oh, look at how beautiful. Okay, this Barbie doll is super duper magical and special. I can't believe how shiny she is. Look at her outfit. Oh, she is a very magical and very beautiful, beautiful Barbie. On the back of the box, it talks all about her. It says that she lives in the magical lagoon and she actually protects all the animals that live around this lagoon and in the waters. So let's check her out even more detail. Whee! All right, here she is. Oh, she is swimmingly gorgeous. Oh, she is just so, so magical. Okay, her outfit is very mermaid inspired and definitely lots of inspiration from the beautiful, beautiful water that she lives in. The only colors that you basically see on her are these beautiful like aqua, purple and green tones going all over her. Her face is beautiful. Look at her blue makeup that she has. So pretty and just so gorgeous. I love how it just kind of thins out. Kind of matches her headpiece that she has going on that has this beautiful metallic sheen going through it. Look at this gorgeous necklace that she has on too. I wonder if she found this gem at the bottom of the lagoon. Her hair has so many different little colors in there, including this little sparkle too as well. And it's just lightly waved. I'm loving her skin tone color too. This really, really soft, soft, beautiful, beautiful aquatic blue color. It's like almost like the softest sea foam color ever. And then let's talk about about this beautiful outfit. I mean, everything is so sparkly and shimmery. It's more fitted here and then it flares out in this beautiful mermaid style and just kind of drapes behind her. Look at that shimmer. It looks like magical pebbles or stones or something that the water would slightly be washing over. Then she's got this gorgeous, gorgeous kind of shimmery sheer area here in the front. And then of course, attached to her little armband pieces here, she's got this gorgeous two-tone chiffon that actually reminds me of water as she's moving. It's just absolutely perfect. I love the shimmer detail. It matches the very bottom of her dress here. But look at this metal piece that she has right on her waist. Really cool. So it didn't actually say that she was a princess, but she looks like she's the princess of her own little lagoon. She is just so pretty. And of course, she has her little magical triton as well, which also has beautiful coloring details, kind of a purple, a blue, and then goes into that soft green color. A little bit of silver over towards the end of it too. And look at her shoes. It looks like she's walking on water. Her shoes are so amazing. They're translucent and they kind of have that same little thin detail. Just absolutely amazing. And then she has this really beautiful, like soft purpley blue nail polish on her little nails. So no creature needs to fear at all whenever they visit her in the lagoon. She is there to protect and she's probably the absolutely sweetest when you come and visit her. All right, what else do we have in this box? Oh, it looks like we're still in the faraway forest. This is the Lady of the White Woods. So she's part of the same collection that this beautiful water sprite doll lives in. What does she look like? Open her up, because I'm sure she's gonna be a friend of the water sprite. <gasps> she's beautiful! Oh, this royal ruler is absolutely dazzling. Look at her dress! All right, let's really check her out. Woo! 
Okay, perfect. Now we can pull her out. Wow, so here we have the royal ruler of the White Woods. So they're describing the White Woods on the back of the box. It's a beautiful land of pristine white that has birch trees, snow owls, and a beautiful ice blue sky. And she absolutely is beautiful. She is the ruler of this magnificent, magnificent land. And I think it's really cool. It says that she is the keeper of treasures and secrets known only to her. So she knows much about the land that she lives on. She has ruled there for many, many years. And I love that her outfit is very owl and very kind of birch tree inspired, just like her land. So first let's talk about her beautiful face. It almost looks like an owl feather to me. It looks like the way that she kind of did her makeup. She even actually put makeup inside of her eyebrows too. Do you see that little detailing? And super duper long, long lashes. And this gold coloring, even her lipstick is also very, very subtle makes her beautiful eyes just absolutely stand out. She's got two little twisties right in the front of her hair here that's twisted in with the silver thread. Her hair is so, so, so long and I love that it's just gathered just right here, how it just kind of pulls together, but then it's left really long and loose. I mean, look at her outfit. It looks like she's got tree branches growing up on her neck and then it goes down to this delicate, beautiful little owl feather detail, all in this beautiful metallic gold with little touches of silver peeking through. Same thing through the front part of her dress here. It kind of looks like little tree branches. That's what it looks like to me. And then you know how birch trees kind of peel away. That's exactly what this looks like. Maybe it's a little roughly like owls as well, but it's just gorgeous. And there's even this little bit of little tan in here as well, just for a little extra detail. And it goes all the way around her whole entire dress. And then peeking out just right here, she actually has this little golden glittery little tree branch coming right out here as well. And because she is royalty, She's got this beautiful little mesh chiffon right at her shoulders. Her little arm piece look like they have little golden owl feathers on them. And her tiara also looks like it was made out of golden tree branches. And what does she have for shoes? Oh, they look like, again, it looks like we've got some branches and some owl feathers to make up these beautiful heels that she wears. I wonder if it's hard walking around the snow in these. Woo. Absolutely beautiful and stunning. I'm amazed by the detail of these Barbies. So as gorgeous and beautiful as the Lady of the White Woods is, I have a feeling she doesn't quite get along with another doll from the Faraway Forest collection. This one is also part of my collection as well. Some of my cookie fans may remember me reviewing her. This is the Queen of the Dark Forest, and I have a feeling she doesn't quite get along with this ruler. I think they have different ideas about how they rule their kingdoms. I refuse to be in the same room as you. <laughs> oh, that's just how that queen is. Don't worry about her. You're a magnificent ruler. I know. I just wish she wasn't so evil. All right, what do we have next in here? Ooh, we've got another one. Let's see what this one is all about. <gasps> oh, cool. Oh, we are going back in time now. Woo! Okay, it looks like in this black Barbie box, which is still part of the gold label collection, we're going back in time to the 1920s. This is the Harlem Theater Collection, and we have an amazing, amazing jazz singer in here. This is, ooh, Claudette Gordon. Let's check her out. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at that outfit. Completely reminiscent of the time that she represents. Back in the day, she's dressed in this beautiful flapper style dress. Oh, and she even comes with like an old fashioned style microphone so she can just sing her heart out all night long. <laughs> She sang her way right out of the box. Oh, wow. And she is so beautiful. Look at her hairstyle. It is just absolutely perfect, perfect. The little curls that she has. And I just love this short hairstyle. She's gone for a very, very smoky, dramatic eye. And I love, love that lipstick color, that deep berry color. Now she is a nightclub singer. So she actually came with this old fashioned microphone that is just beautifully detailed too. <laughs> All right, let's take a moment and talk about this outfit. It actually looks like it has like a peacock design. Do you see those peacock feathers? It's embroidered right onto the dress. Then it's all like loose, kind of flares out at the bottom. It's got like this polka dot, little see-through, little trimming detail. Oh, and it also has like a little bit of some fringe too. She's accessorized this outfit with these beautiful black gloves, a little black sequins headband, stripey little black nylons, adorable little cage shoes. And she's got lots of beautifully beaded necklaces too that she's wearing, that she just has them layered and layered and layered over her outfit. I know happiness is coming for you. 
dramatic and gorgeous. I love her. I'm not the only one who thinks she looks like Whitney Houston, right? So who else do we have in the box? How about this one right here? Oh, we've got another one from the Harlem Theater Collection. It's Madame Lavinia. Oh, which is just so cool. This is a really, really cool doll. Let's look at her. Woo, she basically... Oh, look at how beautiful. Okay, she owns the nightclub that gorgeous Claudette Gordon actually sings at. So she manages all the entertainment that goes through her club. And she is just beautiful. Also based in the 1920s. Look at how styled she is. She's really, really cool. It's gonna be a perfect night. Woo, woo. Got her right out of the box. Woo, in a snap. Oh, man, this doll is mega, mega styling. Oh, she is way cool. All right, she also has a beautiful Time Era dress on that is perfect, perfect, perfect for her. What's really cool about this doll is that she actually is one of the full figure dolls, so she's actually a little bit heavier. You can see her especially right here next to Claudette. But what's really cool is that she actually has bendable arms and legs. So I think this is one of their first articulated full figured dolls. Barbie dolls. So really, really cool to see her be able to move so much. All right, let's talk about this outfit because it is incredibly soft and sparkly. It just has a natural sheen to it and it almost looks like it's made out of fur whenever you pet it. It just, it feels that soft, just like fur. So super duper soft dress, beautiful gold accents and details that just swirly, whirly all over it and all around the hemline. She wears a beautiful maroon berry colored little turban that's mega soft. It feels like it's made out of silk, which has a little detail on the top. She's got little tassely earrings that match. I'm very tempted to see how she does her hairstyle underneath here. She's got a little matching brooch right here next to the side of piece of her gown. She's got a really big golden ring and some golden shoes with some stockings on. And these shoes are mega detailed. She has a lot of detail on these shoes. Look at that. She also has this gold lion staff that she also carries around. Look at that lion head right on top. So she always keeps this in hand as she's walking around the nightclub. Check checking on everybody, making sure everybody is enjoying themselves. And she also has this faux fur stole that she can also loop around her just like that. Look at how luxe she looks. And something that I thought was super duper cool on the back of her box, it actually says some of the details that she has is a beauty mark and one raised eyebrow that hints she may know more than she reveals. And I think her eyebrow goes up whenever these singers hit an absolutely perfect tune. Mega, mega awesome. Can I get you anything. Oh, uh, I think I'm okay. I'll take a sparkling water. All right, because the show's about ready to get started. <laughs> Looks like we've got one more Barbie to look at from this haul video. Woo! Oh, and this one's gonna be a real cutie pie. Another gold label collection. It's the Cherry Pie Picnic doll. She's part of the Willows, Wisconsin collection. All right, let's check her out. <gasps> Oh, look at how pretty. So in the middle of this sky blue box, we have this old fashioned style Barbie doll. Oh, who is, looks like she is all dressed up and ready for a picnic. <gasps> she even comes with a cherry pie. Cherry pie is one of my favorites. Well, here comes the cutie pie. Here she is. <gasps> she looks so, so, so adorable. She's got her little pigtails that she has all tied off to the side here, including with two little cherry red little bows. Ooh, her makeup is actually like a goldeny yellow color. Color, but of course she's got cherry red lipstick. She's got a little cherry little blouse on with these little puffed little sleeves and I love the little polka dots all over it. She's got a little red belt and she has her jeans all rolled up. But whoa, she's gonna take these heels on a picnic. Oh man, Barbie. Maybe a little hard to walk in the grass with these shoes on. And look at her little toes. She painted her toes red. And of course with a matching manicure. Okay, of course this Barbie doll is obsessed with cherry pie and she actually comes with this adorable little picnic basket, which how real does this look? I feel like it's really made out of like a wicker material. You can actually open and oh, look how cute. It's got the little red and white little gingham print that we can actually put her little accessories in. Oh, look at how cute. A picnic for two. We've got two cups ooh, for some juice, two plates, two little napkins, and two little shiny little silver forks that look like they're made out of real metal. Look at how tiny those are. <gasps> they're like just as small as a Petkins. Ooh. And they can dig into this freshly baked cherry pie. Yum. That's in this little silver pie tin. And they can actually cut out a slice <gasps> just like that. Oh, and put it on the plate. Woo! Mmm, my, my, my. Two slices of pie. Okay, two delicious for words. I just baked up some fresh cherry pie. Anyone interested? I'll go get the plate so the show can start. 
looks like the show is about ready to start. Oh, all right, cookie fans. I hope you enjoyed this Barbie collector haul of these gorgeous, gorgeous dolls, all from the gold label collection. I am dazzled by their detail. They are so detailed and just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know which one I love more. I love them all equally. So here is a slice of pie for you, served up with a side of happiness, and I will see you in my next video. Ah, whoops, <laughs> I cut you up a new piece. There you go. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, cookie fans. Mmm, yum. You're invited to my palace anytime you would like. Hmm, sounds good. I think I can make it. What type of animals did you say you have again in your forest? Were they white owls, white foxes, or white doves? I can't remember.